mistake. I didn't pull the alarm. What are you trying to tell us? It went all fast. Say, I'm telling you to stand in it. He's crazy. He ain't that crazy. Look, he's got nothing to lose. Don't you see that? He doesn't have a wife and a family like you do, Garrett. Think about it. He doesn't have a girlfriend like you do, Boswell. He got nothing to lose here. All he's got is himself. He was, he was going to go through this thing even though he knew it was doomed. Well, it ain't doomed anymore. We got the warden. We got his kids. We got the TV lady. And we got the reverend here. All right, you might get out here. But if you do, they will hunt you down like a dog. I'll take my chances. You do, and you'll, you'll live with the devil the rest of your days. Oh, beats serving time. No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. With the power of evil to put both of you in this hellhole in the first place. And it'll follow you for the rest of your days throughout. Knock it off, preacher man. I know a way to set you free. Yeah. This. Let him talk. Mm -hmm. No, no. You think that you were born to rot away in this prison? You think that you were born to rob, to rape, to kill? No, you were both born innocent. You were born to be somebody, not to be numbers. Get your violin with it. Shut up. You can still save your soul. You can do it now. Make the choice. Get rid of the devil. Get the power of evil behind you. Show the warden here that you can still choose good over evil. You do, and I'll, I'll make sure you get the credit for it. He's calling us. No, no, wait a minute. If we do what Mitch asks us, you stand behind us? You have my word. Don't believe him. I'm out of this, Garrett. He got it made, you dummy! No, we got nothing. Which is right. It's hell in here. It's gonna be hell right out there, too. Come on, Garrett. Do you think it's an accident that I'm standing here offering you a chance to save your life and to save your soul as well? God put me here! God is giving you a choice! Right here! Right now! Make that choice. Take a chance. Get rid of the devil! You have a chance to save your life now. Put down that gun, listen to the Lord, and you will be free wherever you are. Put it down. Put it down. Oh. Hallelujah, brothers. Hallelujah. Man, Praise brothers, have you gotten this all on tape? It's fantastic yeah, it's stuff. Right. Don't don't to everyone who is watching this, to everyone who can hear my voice, you are witnessing a miracle, a miracle of faith. Moments ago, these men were possessed by the devil. They had the power of evil. Now, they had as their hostages these good people, the warden of this prison, Mr. Perkins, his lovely daughter, the Reverend Cameron Oliver, and the newswoman, Dorian Lord. But by this miracle of faith, they chose to lay down their arms, to surrender their hostages. They don't ask for freedom. They've just taken their own freedom from the bondage of Satan. But they do ask one thing, that you give them a second chance. I ask that you hear them. Please, gather together the saints and judges, as the Bible says. Give them a second chance. Prove that good can conquer evil. Give them that second chance for the glory of God. Amen, Brother Mitch, amen. Before the warden, before the television audience, and before God Almighty, I beg forgiveness for any sins I may have committed. And I pray that God, in his infinite mercy, will give me and my unfortunate fellow inmates, a chance, a chance to redeem ourselves in the eyes of the society that we have wronged, and a chance to prove that we can live in the community of men. Cut! Stop! That's it. It's a wrap, guys. Well, Thank what's you. Wrong? What's wrong? Look, you've already won the oh, Academy Award for False oh, Humility. Why bother going on? Say, I don't go. follow you, Dorian. Of course you follow me. I am not going to let you use my television show as a platform for your lousy scheme to get out of here. Boys, pack it all up. We're going home. Start the cameras. I'm not finished. No way! I'm speaking the Lord's will. Not on my show. I'm warning you. Oh, goody. Go ahead and warn me. That's what I like to see. The old Mitch Lawrence we know and love. The Mitch Lawrence that murdered Harry O'Neill.